Hey guys, it's Kate and I hope you're having a great day today. I wanted to do a journal spread and do things a little bit differently today. I want to start with a really dark background and I was kind of feeling like a navy blue color today. So I grabbed my ultramarine blue and I'm going to put some of this out on my plate my mixing palette, if you will, and then this Cad Orange, which if I add just a little bit to that blue should make a really nice dark navy blue. So I'm going to start with my palette knife here, grab some of this orange and add it to the blue just little by little until I get a pretty nice navy. So blue and orange are complementary colors, and so if you mix them, they will kind of neutralize a little bit, and also it'll get a little bit darker. So I'm going to start with this, and just give it a good mix with my palette knife, and then I'm going to give it a little test on a piece of paper. Or a paper towel. <laughs> All right. I really like that color. It's just a nice dark blue. I've got this ultramarine and so I am going to go with that. I'm going to take my silicone tool, scrape off my, ooh, boy that does a great job. I've never scraped it with a silicone tool before but man that leaves a clean palette knife. I'm going to do that more. Okay, now, now let's get back to the journal page. I'm going to put down a thin layer with this so that it dries quickly. And that's a beautiful color. And I can add to it. In fact, I think I will. But I'm just going to start slowly so I'm not glopping paint on my page. You can always add. And I might even just have some fun with it and put it in some random spots. Because who cares? It's just fun journaling. I really love trying different things with color mixing because you never know what you'll what you'll find that you really like. And I just want to get to know my colors, get familiar with them, and do what I can to get some variety. I mean, you can make a lot of colors with a very limited palette. And that's one of the great things about painting is if you're exploring your materials, you can really find some amazing things. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to mix up some more even. And that orange really darkens it. You wouldn't think it because orange is a lighter value, but you mix the two together, you get a nice color. It's like a midnight blue or something. All right, I'm going to take my filbert, clean off my palette knife, and I'm going to dip in and start painting kind of a thin layer in some areas. I want some of this to be a little bit more solid, so I'm just gonna kinda go into the background. Make sure to get my edges and all of that. And I don't mind having the brush strokes, I just wanna get some paint on the paper. That's one of the reasons I like to pre-paint my pages 
is the work's already done. You've got a layer of protective paint on your page and you can kind of just get started. But I actually ran out, so it's time to put some new paint down. Okay, I've got my background done and it's a little tacky. It's not dry. I put a thin coat, but it's not complete. But I'm going to come in here with this white Artistro pen. It is an acrylic paint marker and I'm going to just quickly add some dots for some stars. I just really want to do almost like a night scene. And I'll probably also add some splashes, but I want to start out with some dots, just like that. I'm going to grab my titanium white and put just a dab on my paper, just like that. But first, what I'm going to do is make a big moon. And I've got my gesso. I think that's about the size I would want to make my moon. So I am just going to do a quick trace around it. And I'm going to put it right over here on this side. And I'm just going to use a pencil so I can see the light mark that it leaves and I will fill that in with paint. And I'm actually going to use this peachy color for my moon today. So I'm going to put some of that on my plate too. And I'll probably, and I'm going to mix a little bit of white in with it to lighten it up even more. like that. Oop. Shoot. There's a little bit of blue in there. We'll go with it. <laughs> I'm not going to get too particular because it'll just mix right in and there's not enough to make a difference. Okay. I'll clean my palette knife off right there on my paper. All right. Dip in with my brush. And I'm going to loosely follow the line. I want this to be pretty organic, so I'm not going to be too worried about making a perfect circle, but I just didn't want my shape to get too out of hand. <laughs> so I'm just going to go around, follow the pencil, but not get overly protective of my lines. Just like that. Now, before this dries much, I'm actually going to do a quick little blot to get texture. So I'm going to take my paper right here and I'm going to press this right into my wet paint. And hopefully if I lift it off, I get some of that coming through, which is just what I want. So I'll set this aside and then there we have our moon. And I can even come in and darken up some areas, but I like having that texture in there. So I'll just grab a little bit more paint. And actually, I might use my smaller brush and just kind of darken some of these areas. But it'll keep that organic look, which I really love. So I'm just kind of going in and going over some of these areas again. Just lightly so that I can get some thicker paint on there along with my thinner paint. And I'm just kind of dabbing on my brush 
and not trying to make so many brush strokes, if that makes sense. I'm just kind of almost scumbling, just making some random marks so that I can keep that texture on there, but deepen the color in some of those other areas. That looks good to me. Okay, next up, I'm going to grab my lamp black and put that on my plate. And I'm going to come in here and do some quick mountains. Just like that. And I'm going to let this paint come down and get it, get these edges kind of jagged like that and bring this all the way down to the bottom. Then I'm going to vary my brush strokes and kind of hold my paper down a little bit just so it doesn't look too uniform. I'm going to clean up this edge here. I kind of want it to come up off the side of the page, so I'm just going to add another little peak there. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just kind of make an outline and fill it in at the bottom. Okay, now what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of this peach, mix it in with this black, so we can have that same color we used for the moon because we're going to make some highlights on the top of these mountains. Actually, might be better mixing the black in <laughs> with the pink. Okay, perfect. Now when you're doing highlights on mountains, I mean, I want it to kind of catch the light in the direction that the moon would be facing, but other than that, you can make highlights wherever you want. If I wanted to make a little extra peak here, I could, just like that. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of follow these shapes a little bit. And I'm going to grab a second brush that I have handy and just kind of sweep that down just a little bit. And maybe even this brush and just kind of blend that in. Yeah, I like that better. That way it's not so one, uh, one direction. All right, same thing here. Just grab my second brush and just blend that color down. And maybe I want another little one here. I can do that. Can do anything we want. And just get that other brush handy. And we can just go to town making our peaks. Just like that. Now I'm going to come grab some more paint and come in from this side. I'm just going to brush this in with my dry brush. I'm going to give it a quick rinse. Now what I meant to do earlier was splash on some stars. So I'm going to get some water to mix with that white that I put on my plate earlier. And sorry if you can hear a 
lawnmower in the background. <laughs> Okay, we're going to come here. I'm going to protect my mountains a bit because I don't want my white to go on my mountains. It's going to be stars. We're going to make a couple little sprays of stars on here, just like that. All right. Okay, I think we can call this done. I wanted to do a quick and fun journal page with the nice dark background and play around with mixing some colors and texture and doing some shadows and highlights. So hope you enjoyed this today. I'm going to give you a close up of our splashes, our mountains, and our moon. And that rich dark blue color with the ultramarine blue and the cad orange mixture. So I hope you try mixing some colors, doing some fun things on your journals. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and you can get updates. Until next time, keep creating.